Alright, so I tweeted right before I came up here, so I'm really hoping that that comes up really soon. Anyway, so as she said, I'm doing some spoken word poetry. Um, it's a little bit different, but um, yeah, this spoken word is an originally written one by me. Um, it's just about uh, my passions and a guy that I'm really passionate about. I've entitled this poem, Jesus Solution, so sit back and enjoy, guys. It's no lie to anyone. Our world's got corruption. I mean, you don't have to look far to notice all the destruction. Truth be told, planet Earth's falling apart at the seams, so it seems to me that somebody has got to intervene. Left and right, people's broken lives, constantly searching for something that they seem to never find. There's a hole inside that they desperately need filled, so they run to sex, drugs, alcohol, gotta find that new thrill. But what happens when that thrill no longer satisfies anymore? Problems keep coming your way. Your parents got a divorce. Now your heart's feeling sore. You can't take this no more. So why don't we take a moment and examine the source? Why are you here? What are you gonna do? Is there even anybody in this world to turn to? I mean, come on, let's get real. I'm just telling you how I feel. My situation is surreal. You'd never know though, it's concealed. On the outside, all you see is a fake smile, a fake happy. But I'm silently crying out for someone to come and just help me. On the inside, I'm dying, at home alone crying. Day by day, I keep trying, but the darkness where I walk is just blinding. I think it's fair to say I'm suffocating from the inside out. From head to toe, I'm filled with doubt. What is this life even about? Now, this is a common thing that I see in this world. Human beings feeling worthless, so many boys, so many girls, ending up in a place that they never wanted to be, wishing it were different, but it's actually reality. Now that leaves you with a question that needs to be asked. How do I begin to change? Sounds like a daunting task. Well, there's many places in this world you could go for a solution, but many times it's fake. It'll just add to your pollution. Now I'm 100% certain I have the right resolution. I know a guy who died for you. That's a pretty big contribution. See, he was brutally beaten, with every type of injury. I don't care if you don't believe, just go check up on your history. And as he hung on that cross, looked like the battle was lost. In the end, it didn't matter, because he came out with the victory. Now, who is this man that I'm talking about? I'm glad you asked. His name is Jesus, and he loves you, no doubt. You see, he came down to me, in my broken state, reached out his hand to lift me up, told me it's not too late, you have a different fate. A purpose and a calling. I don't have to worry about being perfect because he'll catch me when I'm falling. And assuredly I say, he wants to do the same for you. He wants to do the same for everybody. Start believing because it's true. The same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. He'll walk with you through whatever and be there for you whenever. Will my God ever leave you or forsake you? No, never. It's like when you're with Jesus, life is just better. But let me make sure you're not misunderstanding me. Just because you believe in Jesus doesn't mean problems are bound to flee. Because Jesus never promised us a perfect life. He simply said he'd come with us through all the trials and the strife. But I thank God and he's with me in the midst of the storm. Even when calamity surrounds me, he helps me not to conform. You see, because before I really knew him, I was always trying to perform. But now that I truly know him, I've been truly transformed. You say, after everything that I've done, I don't deserve this because I'm dirty. But Jesus shakes his head no. You see, he's given me mercy. To him, it doesn't matter all those things you've done wrong. Because when you give your life to him, all those sins are long gone. Whether you're a liar, a cheater, a stealer, or a fraud. I think the drugs, alcohol, lust, just trust in God. Because he's the beginning and the end, someone you can call a friend. I guarantee if you meet Jesus, you will never thirst again. So rejoice, my friend. For Jesus has given you a hope. You're worth so much in his eyes, you don't even know. Because when you have him on the inside, your outside will glow. Make sure you always remember, he thinks you're beautiful. He loves you with all of his heart, unconditionally. That's the whole reason that he died for you up on that tree. So start being the person that he's made you to be. You're bound to love it. No regrets guaranteed. Thank you.